We explain the 1933 World Series. In 1933, James Weldon Johnson published his autobiography. U.S. unemployment hit 25%, prohibition was lifted, Hitler worked his way into dictatorship. The first drive in movie appeared, where you could probably see King Kong, Paul Robeson, and Shirley Temple on the screen. Einstein escaped Germany and urged a nuclear program. FDR's New Deal of relief, reform, and recovery was put in place, and Wiley Post flew around the world, a world that welcomed Flip Wilson and Willie Nelson. Also a world where the New York Giants would face the Washington Senators again. It was truly a World Series that showed a changing of the baseball guard. The Giants had lost John McGraw to retirement in 1932, and four months after he watched this series in the stands, he also left this life. The Senators also faced life after the 1932 retirement of Walter Johnson. The Giants, Bill Terry stepped up, and for the Senators, Joe Cronin took the lead. The Senators were loaded with talent, both on offense with Heine Manoush, Buddy Meyer, Goose Gosling, and defense with the pitching of the 24-game winning Alvin Crowder, 22-game winning Earl Whitehall, and Lefty Stewart. On the other side, the Giants only had one batter above 300 in Bill Terry, and Mel Ott had 100 RBIs. It was their pitching that was their true weapon. Carl Hubble had pitched 23 shutouts that season. Roy Parmalee, Hal Schumacher, and Freddie Fitzsimmons rounded out the pitching staff. On paper, the Senators had the definite advantage, but aside from a home run from Schulte and one from Gosling, their bats went quiet. Ott's bat was hot, hitting 389 with three runs and four RBIs on the series. Two of those runs came from a home run in Game 1 and a game-winning home run in Game 5 in the 10th inning that broke a 3-3 tie. The night before, Bill Terry hit a home run that put the Giants into the 11th inning on a 1-1 tie. Basically, the Giants pitching dominated the Senators. In the end, the Senators only managed to pull off a Game 3 victory with a Whitehill shutout at the game FDR attended. The Giants won the series 4-1. Hall of Famers would be Hubble, Travis Jackson, Ott, Terry, Joe Cronin, Goslin, Manoush, and veteran Sam Rice, who at 43 in his last year with the Senators, got a pinch hit run in his only appearance in Game 2.